In 2024, release wave 2, you can now conditionally apply uh, configuration templates to the data that you synchronize between B uh, Dataverse and Business Central. My name is Ivan Kolatic and uh, I'm a product manager in Business Central engineering team. And I want you to join me for the next couple of minutes to see this new capability in action. So businesses often enrich data that's synchronized between Business Central and Dataverse by using templates to make uh, data ready to use either in Business Central or in Dataverse. Having this configurable, rule-based and automated way uh, to select the templates to apply when you synchronize data and when you create new records means that you don't have to extend your integration solutions with such rules and the integration between Business Central and Dataverse uh, and the Dynamics 365 uh, uh, apps is faster and more uh, cost effective. So let's go ahead and see uh, what auto apply templates in integration with Dataverse looks like in action. So the place where we do apply these configuration templates to be applied when uh, the data is synchronized is in the integration table mappings. So let's go and open the integration table mappings and see how it looks like. We'll work with a customer I've set up a couple of templates so that once the new customers are created from uh, Dataverse, they, they get to apply different templates based on the country code that the customer has. The, the first thing that you may notice uh, right now is when you have only one template, the name of the template to be applied is displayed in the integration table mappings. But when you have more, te more templates and they have some conditions or some rules on how these templates are applied, you will see the number of templates. So let's have a look at this. As you can see, I have a sort of a default uh, template that gets applied when a country code is set to uh, US or it's uh, blank. I have the EU template that gets applied uh, when any of these uh, EU countries are, uh, are added. And this is the third template that I'll apply for all other countries. I'll just reuse a, a filter that I have in here to set this up. So the foreign configuration template code is going to be applied when a country region code is different from uh, all of these and it's different from US. Given this is a US company, so anything that's not EU or that's not US should actually get uh, this template. Now, another thing that you can actually do in here is you can actually set the priority of evaluation. So once the new record gets created, we will go uh, one by one and see which of these, uh, which of these conditions are met. And the priority field just uh, shows the order of evaluation of this, right? So what I'll do, I'll set this one to be three and this one to be two, which means that the default is going to be uh, evaluated first, then we'll look at the foreign, and then if the, the, the record does not satisfy the conditions that we set in the filter in here, then it's going to evaluate the EU one, right? So to see how this actually uh, works in action, I have a account that I've uh, this Contoso BCLE. And as you can see, it has the Australian country region code. So when I go ahead and create in Business Central, uh, the, the thing that I want to see is that uh, that foreign template gets applied. And that foreign template, I forgot to show you, actually contains a customer posting group foreign, right? As opposed to the other ones that uh, get posted to other uh, receivables account. So let's create this in Business Central and see what the effect of this is. Let's see if it's finished. Okay, it has finished, and let's see the result of uh, of that. So this was a completely uh, a completely new customer that we have taken from Dataverse and put it in uh, Business Central. Let's have a look at this customer. So I have Contoso BCLE, which is a new customer that uh, we synchronized. And if we look at the customer posting group, you can see it is foreign, right? Just to uh, show you once more, you can actually see that that um, configuration template actually had the customer posting group foreign set and it got applied after meeting those conditions uh, that we've specified.
Okay, so what we saw in the demo is that there are new configuration template setup pages that you can access through a drill down from the integration uh, table mapping. You can set, the, uh, you can set a uh, sort of conditions by defining a filter that needs to be satisfied in order for template to be uh, applied. And you can also uh, define the evaluation priorities or the order in which uh, different uh, template filters are going to be evaluated before the uh, before a specific template is applied. What I've shown you in um, in in the short demo was the application of the table configuration template, which means this is a template get, that gets applied once the Dataverse record gets created in Business Central. But there's also integration table configuration templates, which apply for when um, Business Central uh, record is actually created in Dataverse, so it works in uh, in both uh, in both directions. And that was it. So I hope you really enjoyed the the video, and uh, I also hope that you go ahead and uh, try out this uh, new feature. Uh, for additional uh, material, check out the description below uh, the video, and for additional links. They're also in the in the caption uh, below the video. Thank you.